Away for 20 months after multiple surgeries, Marcelo Guimaraes plans UFC comeback. Marcelo Guimaraes hasn't fought since March 2016 and though he's not quite ready to return, he doesn't see his comeback as being too far off. The former jungle fight welterweight champion signed with the UFC in 2013 and decided to move up to middleweight after losing his debut to Hyun Jae-ulim. Ngrao defeated Andy Enns the following year, before coming back in 2016 to lose to Vita Miranda. That's when Gimaraz was forced to take another long break from the sport. Ngrao suffered a knee injury and had to go under the knife in July 2016 but post-surgery issues forced him to undergo another procedure a couple of months later. The first surgery should be simple, but I had septic arthritis and had to undergo another surgery, Gimaraz told MMA Fighting. I was in the hospital for 20 days and my leg atrophied. When I returned to training, I got injured again. The 34-year-old Gimaraz hopes to finally re-enter the octagon again in March 2018. In the meantime, Grau makes money with the American top team gym he opened in Espirito Santo, Brazil. I can't wait to train in my own gym, he said. It's frustrating because you see Everio and training and fighting, the UFC getting bigger and paying fighters better, and you only get paid if you fight. That's the bad part. But I'm getting ready to come back a better fighter. Gimmer has always had a rough time cutting weight to compete at 170 pounds and decided to move up to middleweight after Leandro Souza's death prior to a Shuto Brazil event in Rio de Janeiro in 2013. Four years later, the UFC fighter has decided to drop down again. I want to go back at welterweight, he said. I weigh around 190 pounds now, so I fit better in that division. I haven't tried the early weigh-ins yet but it's great. I think it's healthier for the athlete. The sport is getting better every day.